Alexander Mackenzie was the second Prime Minister of Canada and served from 1873 to 1878. Here's a brief overview of his life history. Early Life and Education Alexander Mackenzie was born on January 28, 1822, in Logirate, Perthshire, Scotland. He was the third of ten children born to a poor tenant farmer. Mackenzie received only a basic education in Scotland before emigrating to Canada with his family in 1842. Political Career Mackenzie began his political career as a town councillor in Sarnia, Ontario, in 1852. He was elected to the Legislative Assembly of the Province of Canada in 1861, representing Lambton County as a member of the Reform Party. In 1867, he was elected to the House of Commons as a member of the newly formed Liberal Party. Prime Minister of Canada After the resignation of Sir John A. Macdonald in 1873, Mackenzie became the second Prime Minister of Canada. His government faced economic difficulties, including a depression that began in 1873, and political opposition from the Conservative Party. Mackenzie's government also passed important legislation, including the creation of the Supreme Court of Canada and the establishment of the Royal Military College of Canada. Later Life after his defeat in the 1878 election, Mackenzie remained in the House of Commons as the leader of the opposition until 1880. He retired from politics in 1888 and spent his remaining years in Toronto. He died on April 17, 1892, and was buried in Lakeview Cemetery in Sarnia, Ontario. Legacy Mackenzie is remembered as a man of integrity and principle. He was a strong advocate for responsible government and democratic reform. Mackenzie's government introduced many progressive measures, including the secret ballot, which allowed for fairer elections. His commitment to public service and dedication to the Canadian people continue to inspire Canadians today.